Hey everybody, my name is Paul Eston Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boygreen25. And oh boy, the NFL never stops. And Aiden Hutchinson, Detroit Lions superstar pass rusher, has gone down. He's officially going to be out for the season here in week six with a broken tibia Brutal news, and that sucks for the Lions and sucks for the NFL in general because we hate seeing injuries, but it is what it is. When injuries happen, a next-man-up mentality must happen here for Detroit. And the Lions fancy themselves Super Bowl contenders, which opens the door for a potential trade with the New York Jets. We have an article in the YouTube description down below with all the juicy details, but we're about to talk about it right now. Let's just be honest. Hassan Reddick and the New York Jets ain't happening. Uh, Ian Rappaport uh, shared on Sunday, October 13th, that the Jets gave a strong one-year contract offer to Hassan Reddick, and he declined it. He rejected it, said, no, thank you. And uh, that there's no end in sight between Hassan Reddick and the Jets. So they're stuck with this very talented pass rusher as four straight double-digit sack seasons, but it sounds like he is miffed by the Jets. He does not want to play for the Jets, but the Jets hold his rights, and he is a talented asset but let's be honest the market hasn't been people have been banging on the door for Hassan Reddick at one jet drive because of all these contract disputes but desperation opens doors and the Detroit Lions think they're Super Bowl contenders and why wouldn't they be they were in the NFC championship game last year and could have should have would have punched their ticket to the Super Bowl Aiden Hutchinson is one of the best players on the Detroit Lions they need pass rush juice and the Jets have the golden ticket and it could work out for both parties the Lions desperately need a pass rusher Hassan Reddick does not want to play for the Jets, but I'm sure he would be tickled to play for a team like Detroit who has a chance to uh, win a championship and, of course, to start fresh. Uh, of course, the Lions in any potential deal would have to work out the contract figures with Hassan Reddick to basically rental him for the rest of the season, I would imagine, to try to win a championship. And for the Jets, there's a lot of potential trade packages here. Several ESPN analysts a couple, uh, like a month ago, as a matter of fact, proposed all kinds of offers for Hassan Reddick. Those uh, packages included, and these were hypothetical trades from ESPN analysts, these uh, trades included potential player ideas. For instance, here's a couple of the offers. Arizona Cardinals offer was veteran safety Buda Baker. Cincinnati Bengals offer was veteran tight end Tanner Hudson in a 2025 fourth. The Bears offer was a third and a sixth in 2025 in exchange for Reddick in a 2025 fifth. And then there's a super creative trade in there, a three-team trade that the Raiders, the Chiefs, and the Jets, the Jets would have to give up a 2025 second-round pick, Al Lazard and Hassan Reddick, but they would land Devontae Adams in the deal. That's a little rich uh, for what the Jets would be sacrificing. Now, what could the Detroit Lions do? I'm going to be honest, between me, you, and the four walls, if the Lions offered exactly what the Jets gave up for Reddick and they could just wipe the slate clean, I think the Jets would be interested in that. They gave up a 2026 conditional third-round pick that could elevate to be a second-round pick if Reddick achieved two uh, elevators, escalators, excuse me, uh, playing in at least 67.5% of the snaps and recording at least 10 sacks. If he accomplished both of those feats in 2024, that third rounder in 2026 could have became a second round draft choice. So if the Jets could get a conditional pick or hell, to be honest, even a straight up third round pick in a couple of years, I think the Jets would say, you know what, wash our hands of this. In a perfect world, we'd love for Reddick to be playing with us, but he's been a basket case and let's let the Lions deal with that. Let's just get our pick back and focus on uh, what we have. I think it's a, a perfect situation for both teams. The Lions need a pass rusher desperately. Again, the desperation of us is of the injury. There's limited options available in free agency, which is why this Reddick uh, situation could be incredibly attractive. And for the Jets, it's been a disaster. This is a guy that you brought in. It cost you John Franklin Myers. You immediately traded him a short time after because you couldn't afford him financially. You let Bryce Huff go, and you thought Hassan Reddick would solve your problems. And I don't blame Joe Douglas for making the swing. Hassan Reddick is an incredibly talented football player. That's called calculated risk. You bring him in, anything can happen. And boy, no one had this on their bingo card, but I think it could make a lot of sense for a team like the Detroit Lions. Another team that would have made sense in theory was the team, the Detroit Lions pistol whip, which was the Dallas Cowboys when they lost uh, Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence. But uh, according to Jeremy Fowler, ESPN NFL insider, the Cowboys uh, 
figured the price was too high, I think, both contractually and what it would cost to acquire him from the New York Jets. So they pulled out. But perhaps the Lions can pull in on this potential trade. Let us know what you think in the YouTube comment section down below. Also, check out the full article in the YouTube description. This is a live New York Jets show normally every single day at 730 in the morning. Plus, we do bonus videos just like this every once in a while. Great guest. We open up the call-in lines every day. So if you enjoy New York Jets content, this is the place for you. Make sure you guys like the video, hit subscribe. We're over 7,000 subscribers and hopefully many more to come. Could the Jets trade Hassan Reddick? Would you want them to? Would you want them just to allow him to rot on the bench after all the hoopla that's gone on over the last couple of months? Let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be interacting. Again, could the Lions, with the Aiden Hutchinson injury, call up the New York Jets? It's something I wouldn't count out. That's for damn sure. All right. Thanks for joining us on the YouTube channel for Boy Green. That is YouTube.com slash Boy Green 25. Until next time, take care.